Welcome to In Short, what's new and news in the world of 3D printers. For engineering.com, I'm Todd Grimm. In this episode, I'm going to offer you the highlights from the VAT photopolymerization class of 3D printers. These machines use light to solidify a liquid photopolymer. And there's quite a range of new announcements in this class, prices ranging from $5,000 to nearly $1 million, and technologies that span stereolithography, 3SP, and DLP. I'm going to start with 3D Systems, which announced new 3D printers at both ends of that price range. The new ProJet 1200 is a small desktop unit that uses DLP, or digital light projection. Even though 3D Systems calls this a micro SLA, which would seem to imply that it uses stereolithography, this little 3D printer projects light using a DLP chip that you can find in small projectors. It has a build envelope of 1.7 by 1 by 7 inches that can make small parts and castable patterns. It uses 1.2 thousandths of an inch layers and has 1.8 thousandths of an inch resolution in X and Y for fine details. On board, the Project 1200 has a post curing station where printed parts are placed after cleaning them with alcohol. The Project 1200 uses a new material called Visijet FTX Green that's delivered in a proprietary cartridge. The cartridge concept gives you a new print window, that's the film through which the DLP shines its light, with every change, with every cartridge change, so you don't have the hassle of replacing a Teflon film. Although 3D Systems touts this as revolutionary, to my eye it appears that it has licensed this little 3D printer from Taiwan-based MyCraft, which introduced its version in mid-2012 following its very successful Indiegogo funding campaign. For much, much, much larger parts, or hundreds of small parts, 3D Systems introduced the Pro-X 950, which replaces the iPro 9000 XL. By the way, that Pro-X name is also new. Pro-X is the brand for the larger production-oriented machines, where ProJet is the label for small and mid-sized professional 3D printers. The Pro-X 950 has a large 59 by 30 by 22 inch build envelope that you can use to make one large part or dozens of small parts. Now to keep the throughput high, 3D Systems has outfitted this 3D printer with dual 1450 milliwatt lasers that draw at up to 1000 inches per second with a 30 thousandths inch spot size. It also focuses the beam down to 5 thousandths of an inch for finer detail and smoother surfaces. These lasers are part of the 950's new Polyray print head technology which 3D Systems claims is up to 10 times faster than other 3D printers. Mid-2013, Envision Tech introduced a new technology that it calls 3SP, which stands for Scan, Spin, and Selectively Photocure. Most recently incorporated 3SP in its large frame 3D printers, the Exceed and the Extreme. 3SP is a big departure for Envision Tech, which has built its business on DLP-based 3D printers. According to the company, 3SP does what DLP can't large, high-resolution parts without a huge expense for the DLP light engine. The way it works is that it uses a low-cost, Blu-ray-like laser that shoots at a spinning mirror. That mirror then throws the laser beam across the entire vat, but before it reaches the photopolymer, it passes through two sets of optics that redirect the beam so it's always perpendicular to the resin surface. That's true from dead center in the vat all the way out to the outer fringes. 3SP Simple concept with very few moving parts, so it is a user serviceable unit. The Exceed and Extreme differ only in build size 18 by 18 by 18 inches for the Exceed and 10 by 15 by 13 inches for the Extreme. Both offer 2000 to 4000 inch layers and XY resolutions of 4000 of an inch, which makes for some pretty nice looking parts. Prodways, a new company out of France, has taken a different approach to the challenge of making larger parts with DLP. It mounts two DLP light engines on a gantry that moves from side to side and back to back. Moving light, as the company calls the process, allows Prodways to deliver high resolution across build areas of up to 33 by 26 inches. To make the process fast, it uses high-powered UVA LEDs, which means that it's also using different materials, which Prodways claims to be better, better than those from DLP printers that use visible light. The M350 producer is the largest 3D printer with the 33 by 26 area and a 21 inch depth. It offers 1.5 thousandths to 3 thousandths inch layers and an XY resolution of 1.3 thousandths of an inch. 
That is, if my math, based on their statement of nearly half a billion pixels per layer, is correct. Now, seeing this machine firsthand, I can say that it is quite robust and appears to be truly industrial grade. The company also offers the D35 producer, targeted for biomedical applications, and the K20 producer that makes composite parts from UV cured pastes. Now, my producer is saying that time's running short, so I'm just going to give a quick mention to other new VAT photopolymerization 3D printers. For DLP, we now have a Sega's Pro 50, Keybox's SP4300 and SP6200, Karima's Master Plus, Litho's Serifab 7500, which by the way makes ceramic parts, and DWS's 009J, plus its DFAB unit, which will be released early 2014. For stereolithography, DWS also introduced the O30X, and we have at 3D Squared's SL250, a retrofitted, amped up SLA250, which was 3D Systems' first 3D printer and the machine that started it all. Well, that's it for this edition of InShort. For further information and links to all the news featured in this episode, check out our 3D Printer Zone. On behalf of the Engineering.com team, thank you for watching InShort.